Uh, psychologists and charities are calling for more research into how social media addiction could be affecting older generations. Studies are few and far between, but one paper last year said that amongst older people, it was those aged between 35 and 49. That's not older people, is it? I, I don't think so. I well, certainly that's not disagree with that. You're almost <laughs> out of that category. Um, who spent the most time on social media? The call comes as that thousands of people start a digital detox by going social free this September. Joe Tidy reports. Locking away her son's phone seems extreme. But for Belinda Palmer, it's a last resort. Like many parents, her 12 year old's obsession with social media has become too much. What I saw was my son was playing things like Minecraft, it was an hour a day, it was healthy, it was a way to relax, to actually when we're eating, for example, he won't put his mobile phone down. And that's when I started to think, this has become a dependency like any drug. They are like the, you know, the digital crack cocaine. They're so tempting. They recognise that a lot of them knew about... Belinda received an OBE for her work getting more women into tech. But seeing changes in her son and some of his friends led her to launch a school program educating children about the dangers of social media. Do you feel that you are missing the transient beauty of day-to-day -day life? Today, an international campaign is urging as many people as possible to quit social media for a month. Scroll Free September is being led by the Royal Society for Public Health. Thousands of people from 56 different countries have pledged to quit the big five social media apps, but it's children they're aiming at. No. According to the society, 91% of 16 to 24-year-olds are using social media. Addiction is thought to affect around 5% of young people, and those who spend more than two hours a day on the platforms are more likely to report poor mental health. Research into the effects of social media on young people is abundant, but campaigners admit that the effects on older age groups is lacking. Psychologists say older people are not immune. We're looking for maybe symptoms of addiction, preoccupation, increased obsession, um, potentially loss of control and adverse consequences on a user's life. Throughout the month, we'll be following a group of volunteers of all ages as they go scroll free. Jeff Betteridge, age 72. Um, I am a retired individual. <laughs> I do do voluntary work, but uh, that's not of importance here. My engagement with the world at large and my family has become too centred on social media and not in what I would regard in the past as being a normal way of doing things, i.e. Uh, writing to them and speaking to them on the telephone and in fact speaking to them face to face. The campaign comes as social media companies like Facebook and Instagram begin to address global pressures for change. Last month new features were introduced to give updates and time limits on app usage. But for many people, the first step to a healthy relationship with social media could be to take a break entirely. Joe Tidy, Sky News.